Crosby. Rodgers has had pressure in his face all day, and on a deflection, it's driver to the 40. Are you kidding? It's coming. Ryan on low, dropped, and it's still live. That may be picked off. Hall runs the deep in route, and the ball pops out of his hand, so it's up for grabs. This is what they call a tip drill for defensive backs. It stays on the backside of Marshawn Lattimore. That's Ed Ocho Cinco. <laughs> There's another, another problem. And keep in mind, you have a new center for Carson Palmer start, this year. The whole offensive line. How about Five that? yard penalty. <laughs> a whole offensive line. Second down. Correction, <laughs> still first down. Kyle Cook, second year center. Stay for them offensively as well. Now, Plexico Burris is a real nice player, the wide receiver, but you know what? Showboat later, will you please? He's not touched here, and so, hey, I made a great catch. Guess what? It's a live ball. Ridiculous. Danny Clark of the Jaguars picks it up. It's a fumble. And he returns it to the Steeler 27. Now, you can see what happened. Burris wouldn't touch. I know he thought he was, but you just don't do this. Not there. Just don't do it. You, you, you hold on to the football at all costs until you hear the whistle. There, he spikes the football. And, of course, it seems, looks like every Jag knew that he hadn't been touched. A Flutie will be out there in a very strange formation, trying for two. Or will it be a drop kick, perhaps? Drop kick for the extra point, it is up and in. Can you believe that? <laughs> and what might be Doug Flutie's last professional football game? Look at Belichick. That is one point, and it's 25 to 20. Miami's lead cut down to five. That alone was the price of admission right here for these fans in New England. Last time a drop kick happened in the NFL, we were talking leather helmets. And they were taking trains and buses to games. For the win. Off the upright. And in. And in. Unbelievable game winner. Play it will catch just as well as this punch. Brandon Fields struggled earlier. Got the wet ball away. Alan Rossum going to let go. And it looks like it's on a tee. Boy. If you tee the ball up, you couldn't put it any better. You can, you can go for the pin wow. today, can't you, Mike? You can take out that nine iron, go straight for the pin, drop it down, and pluck it. <laughs> Unbelievable. Already two touchdowns for Brown. And they get it to him again. Oh, he fumbles the ball, and look, is there to pick it up and go over the goal line. Yarder at the end of regulation in Chicago that would have won it. So there's a couple things to keep in mind. You're looking at this formation, the Lions. They have to treat it almost like it's a kickoff. They cannot try and pressure the kick, but they can return it. They do have the opportunity to return. <laughs> so here we go. Mason Crosby from 69 yards out on the free kick. The crowd here at Lambeau's loving this. That is uh, Matt Flynn, the rookie out of LSU, doing the holding. What do you think, Lynchy? Is he getting close? Well, you know, he's going into the wind. He, you know, Mason said right before the game, this is the way the, the, the wind blows in your face. But it's got a chance. <laughs> oh, it's just <laughs> short. Wow, that ended up about three yards short, but an outstanding effort by Mason Crosby. So the free kick from 69 yards out oh. is just that short in the end zone by McDougal and now Seattle with Carson oh my goodness he landed on his feet he's still up that was insane Carson. Buckley's checked in as a wide out they go up and over the middle dangerous oh you gotta be kidding it's pulled down Troy Brown touchdown in the coverage this could have been intercepted by Ashley Ambrose, and Troy Brown just looks up and sees a big football. Looks like the immaculate reception, <laughs> except the guy that caught it weighs about, you know, 70 pounds less than Franco. Look at Brady. They have to go in the first quarter. Empty backfield for the Bills. And that pass is caught by Naaman Roosevelt. At the 40, and he's still going across midfield. Ocho Cinco <laughs> is going to kick the extra point. And you know what? I heard he kicks pretty well. At least that's that's the word. <laughs> Kevin Huber, the normal holder, will put it down. High snap. 
Look at this. <laughs> he drills it. <laughs> Chad Ocho Cinco with a point. I marker. heard somebody was telling me that he he was kicking one day at practice, and they said he was kicking unbelievably. He'll be hard to live with oh now. Oh my good. Ocho Cinco, who is not short on talents and personality and things of that nature, is just showing more value that he brings to this football team. Wow. Well, Mr. Ocho Cinco. The artist formerly known as Chad Johnson is contemplating another name change to Esteban Ocho Cinco. That according, and we think jokingly, to Bengals director of PR, Jack Brennan. Chad reminding Jack that he has said many times and written that soccer is his favorite sport and that he believes he has done his football fans very proud tonight. Hey. And because of the injury to Guskowski, Welker's on to kick the extra point. And you know they've practiced this before. How about that, huh? It was not a thing of beauty, but effective. And Hanson hurt. Sue attempting the extra point, and he bangs it off the upright. They bring the rookie in. Sue, Hanson hurt. I wonder if he's going to kick off. Wow. 13-10. Back after this. And they run it. Barber better be careful. They've got him in the end zone. Asani Samuel has a shot. Now Green, how does he escape? Unbelievable run by Marion Barber to save two points. I did not hear a whistle, but they were about ready to come in and mark this ball down on about the one foot line. That's what I thought. But Marion Barber stays after it. Tell you what, that was close to going all the way. That goes down on the books as a two yard run. <laughs> Kind of like Romo's escape a few weeks back against uh, the Rams. Rams show a blitz. Romo may be changing the call. High snap over his head. Romo runs it down at the 25 and kicks it. Picks it up and runs left. At the 20, Romo trying to pull a McNabb. Gets away from one man. Left to the 40. To the 50. First down. Out of bounds at the 45. For St. Hood. Oh. All I could think of was McNabb on Monday night a few years ago and Greg Ellis Absolutely. chasing him around. Well that one puts him that one puts him in, in the hearts and minds of Cowboys fans forever. Now how long as St. Louis will take a timeout here? Well here's how long what, do you think the Cowboys had to work on that play this week? How long? <laughs> hey Jason, nice nice play call. That the gain on the play is four yards, but he actually went 34 yards. Three game warm ups for the game between the Bears and the 49ers. Watch this field goal attempt by Robbie Solid Fool to the Bears. You think it's windy? <laughs> Understatement of the year. And the kick is up, it's on the way, and it's what? <laughs> no good. <laughs> Man. And what? <laughs> there he goes. It's, he had no shot. Going to complete if he throws his. First NFL completion, and it's to himself. Knocked down by Ray Seals at the 10. Ray Seals was the one who tipped it. Watch the lower left hand of your screen. Ray Seals, he's gonna come, he's gonna have the man open. Watch how you see me come through. Ray Seals did a good job getting his hands up, batch it down. This is what's gonna make Brett Favre a good player. See, he never stopped. Very competitive. He thought he didn't want to go down. By far, the best position player on the field was not an eagle or a raider, but it was a pigeon. Look at the zone and lane responsibility here on the kickoff. Right with the snap. He might be the most disciplined players player on the Raiders team. I mean, he, he, he went down completely down the field, did not deviate from his lane assignment. I mean, he is flying, too. Uh, that, that's first-round contract-worthy right there. That's oh, great speed. Give him some money. Lane responsibility. And then as a bonus, you don't have to give him a per diem because he'll just eat whatever's left on the field. So who is this newest Raider? Well, he stands between 12 and 15 <laughs> inches tall and weighs between 10 ounces and a pound. Woo! Pigeon is small and 
stature, but as you just saw, has speed to burn just like Al Davis likes it. And Pigeons can handle key roles on teams as proven through their experience as messengers during many How fast he is. wars. That Pigeon can flat out fly, ladies and gentlemen. Sign him up. It's a copycat league, ladies and gentlemen.